the idea for this piece did come up when we were making the quiet volume uh, all those years ago so that's more than 10 years ago now and and the idea of making a piece just for pencil paper eraser kind of stayed on the shelf for a decade and and then at a certain point we thought yeah let's let's try that let's let's do it and we started making it and then the the pandemic hit so to begin with we were doing it mostly at Tim's place on the kitchen table uh, also a little bit on the train in between Brussels and Berlin and then in, in various other random spots and after the lockdowns we were making it a lot on Zoom actually and remotely so we were able to continue the process like that and uh, and the, so the piece it kind of is very light in, in its demands for on a, on a material level um, and we've even been able to share it also through the pandemic a little bit with uh, also other countries uh, um, Chile was was shown uh, in, while things were still locked down here there was a different season there so it's kind of nice how, how that's managed to kind of survive um, certain kind of temporalities <laughs> Tim and I are back in Lisbon with another Alto Teatro piece for two people with headphones. Uh, so we were here with the quiet volume uh, some years ago, which was also for two people with headphones, but for a library, for, um, in, a, in a working public library with people around you, busy with their work or, or their reading. And that piece invited you to go into a kind of experience of silent reading together um, at the same time, with the same basic kind of format of headphones guiding you with uh, synchronized soundtracks, so each person hears something different, but it draws you into little actions with your finger of following text and pointing and so on. And this time it's very similar because two people are again sitting next to each other, but this time the, uh, your actions are more about drawing and making marks on the page. It's simple piece of paper, pencil, and a razor. A couple of people, a couple step of people, through, step through, through into this forest. Slowly start to move your finger over to a spot, a little up and to the One right. One of them starts to move. The soundtrack guides you about making the little marks. Of course, it's not everybody who can do fantastic drawings. The idea is to really work with the bare minimum of what everybody can do. And these things take on a life and a kind of an energy as they grow on the page, as they're erased, and that goes together with a, an increasingly kind of um, energetic and carnivalesque soundtrack of uh, things happening um, on the page. Alto Teatro, we call it the Italian name because I was working uh, to begin with with uh, an Italian artist, Silvia Mercuriali. We, we did uh, about 10 years together and the last piece we made was called Etiquette, which was also the first of what we called Alto Teatro. And all the years before, many of our shows were with instructions to unrehearsed guest performers who we would invite on stage and where the audience knew that they were watching somebody who had no idea about what was going to happen. So you're discovering everything together with that person on the stage. And after about eight years of these experiments and many different pieces, some of them also here in Portugal, we flipped it. So we kind of invited the audience to have that experience of being unrehearsed, as well as having the, the experience of watching a show, if you like. And we, the first piece was this kind of using conversation as a model for performance in some ways. And we thought, well, when we speak, there's always somebody taking these decisions, performance decisions, how you speak, what you look like, and somebody who's listening. And so and we used that, uh, that kind of agreement as a, as a model. Um, we called that Alto Teatro with that first piece, and then with different collaborations afterwards, I've done uh, many different pieces like that, uh, including three with Tim, and this is the, the third. So this time, not to scale, is being shown in this uh, great place called the Broteria. So it's off-site insofar as it's not in Teatro Bairro Alto. The piece is very often shown in different kinds of places which 
and nice to be in, which, are, which have a certain calm to them, where, which breathe, and which maybe are also places in the city where you haven't been before. I mean, I've talked about this to, to a lot of people, and some people don't know about the Broteria. It seems like a, quite a well-kept secret. I know that if I lived in Lisbon, I would come and, and work here. Um, it's kind of in between uh, a library reading room, actually, similar to the kinds of places that we would show the quiet volume and a co-working space, and there's the, also the cafe, the beautiful patio for when the weather's good. Uh, so it's a, it's a real uh, treat to be showing it here. Mm -hmm.